Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It is your queen divine mother, goddess Yamaya, your intuitive guide. I appreciate you all for coming to join me on my channel on today. It is a blessed and prosperous, fulfilling day. And I hope you've been stepping into yours in power and the power that you hold as the kings and queens, the emperors and empress that you all are, the gods and goddesses. I know there's many challenges that we have to face at times, but I'm hoping that you all are choosing to walk away from them and walk into your power on today. You're not allowing heartache to stop you. You're not allowing um, disillusions or illusions to get in your way. Hopefully, you're facing yourself with encouragement loving on yourselves and not being afraid to do the shower work, shout to work that you need to in order to walk into your power and step into what belongs to you and go after what you need and what belongs to you and what you deserve. So let's get a reading going for my Pisceans. We definitely are going to do one for the Pisces because I feel like the Pisces definitely need a read. Um, I feel like you guys have been going through some things and you just have been holding things in instead of, you know, you expressing them or feeling like no one cares about um, you and what you got going on. They may feel like you always going through something. What aren't you ever going through? And they're just so tired of you. But it's like, I'm a human being too. Can I have some love, some support? Can I be loved and showered on? Huh? You are always giving. You're givers. You really have good and genuine hearts. And some people, they just overlook them because they are always expecting you to be that way. But I want you to choose to make better decisions in who you choose to give your love to. Because there's definitely someone out there who's um, trying to take advantage of your kindness and make it into a weakness. And you're definitely also not someone that's weak. You're not afraid to stand up for yourself and to leave and cut things off when you have to. It's hard for you, but you definitely do um, have that strength within to disassociate yourself with things and people who are no longer serving you for your highest good, which I really admire about you all. So we also have the hard, uh, hard work card for Eight of Pentacles. You're definitely um, at this time working really hard at a situation in order for you to become more abundant. You can be um, really um, tied up into your work at this time. You're really focused right now and you're not... Um, getting yourself caught up in what's going on and the community what's going on in a society of what's around you um it, you could have things going on in your home life but you're just like leaving those things around um to be left alone until you have more time to come back to them in order for you to get the things um, taken care of that you need to fully focus on and submerge yourself in at this time which is really good for you because you have something that you set your eyes on that you really 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 want to see come to pass you have a really big goal um right now that you're facing and you're um really putting your all into it i see you working really hard at a computer um putting in a lot of hours to make something come to pass that you have a really strong belief in and that's good it's good to have things that we believe in things that um we set our sights on and by being consistent willing to see the outcome of it by planting mustard seeds and having faith that it will become something that the root work will end up being something that was um worth going through this process for so that's really good we have the hank man here so you're definitely um at a in a stand in a standstill but i'm um, coming out of something that was bothering you you're coming out of you know a lot of setbacks and pretty much just um, open to the universe and um whatever manifestations that you've been putting out on receiving them yeah, and you're going to receive them. You're going from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. So what you're working hard at at this time, it's going to be worth it. It's going to definitely be worthwhile. So don't stop whatever it is that you're working at, Pisces. What you're working at is definitely going to be fruitful and it's going to bring you a lot of abundance. And you're going to be really happy that you didn't give up. You definitely are. 
you were stuck in your head about this thing that you're working on. You wasn't you wasn't sure if it was gonna be a success, but it is, is what I'm getting because you're blessed. Um, right now you have the universe. You are um a healer. You're um a spiritual guide, a spiritual teacher of some sort, or you're someone who's an inspirational leader, someone who others look up to and admire. So you have to keep going just because you always have someone watching you and expecting you to do more and and basically lift them out of their burdens as well by you doing it for yourself we have the five of cups in reverse so you're definitely um not stuck anymore um at first it was hard for you to have and keep the things that you wanted there was um, a time where you had to um leave behind a lot of things as i was saying um whatever it may be or put some things on hold in order for you to get things going for yourself that you, you wanted to start something and you did start that thing it was hard for you to begin it but now you're finally at a point where you're like i'm not gonna wait anymore on this thing i only have one life to live and i'm gonna give myself it I'm going to submerge myself in it and give it my all. And, you know, um, I deserve this happiness. I, I deserve the abundance that is going to come from the fruits that I am laboring on. Um, and that is really good. I'm really, really happy for you at this time um, because I know that it's really hard to do. Um because um you feel like i don't want to you know i don't want to mess up what I, I i have already started and accumulated but some things are meant to be let go of in order for you to move forward in order for you to you know close the door one door to open a better one to walk into a, a more abundant one okay sometimes the room that we just left out of did not have many people inside of that class or inside of that room inside of that business or it wasn't a lot of fruits there but when you open the new door is like oh my goodness all of this treasure is here and i am able to partake in it thank you it's, the universe wants you to have it because you're someone who deserves it you're someone who's always giving you're someone who's always there for other people when they need you to people know that they can call on you for anything any task any just anything you're always there to answer the call you're always there to step up you're the type of person who is there when someone is sick when someone is down and out when someone is lacking you're the one to help them to um be better and this is this is the universe rewarding you with this um this thing that you're um getting ready to um receive from the hard work you're putting in this is your justice this is yours and you deserve it so don't walk away from whatever it is you're doing keep going because it is definitely going to bless you you're going to you're helping the universe to bless you at this time I know that you know this. I get that you know this. You're you're not surprised by this message of what I'm saying because you have really high intuition. But your emotions could be getting caught up at this time. But someone could be um, trying to distract you at this time. They don't really want you to move forward with this plan and idea because they know they're going to be someone who's getting left behind. They're so used to you always being there for them and helping them pouring into their cup but now you're choosing to pour into your own cup we have the eight of wands in reverse you know, you are having someone people trying to stop you from moving forward in this plan that you are choosing to make but you're just like i'm gonna do it anyway you guys have to stay over there at this time i want to be left alone to focus on what i need to focus on for myself at this time and that is really good for you pisces um we have the eight of swords wow. out here i mean the eight of wands out here one second guys what is it I'm using my phone at this time, okay? Look, I have my AirPods here. Oh. I'll give it to you in a few when I'm done with this reading, okay? Okay, okay go sit down, Mama. I promise I'll give it to you, okay, baby? Thank you. Yeah, you have people who are trying to... Um, trying to stop you and cut you off from the direction you were headed in that you decided to leave yeah 
we have the higher font out here again you're definitely someone who is going to be blessed because you are someone who is a healer you're someone who's working with the universe you're someone who's a spiritual teacher a spiritual leader you could be someone who's really religious and you help people in your community as i was saying people um, always look to you and um, some of these people who you were helping at the time even though you were doing some positive things in their life they don't want you to walk away or to leave them they don't want to be left out in the cold um they want you to stay there they, they want you to choose to be there and put a lot of your time into them um, because that's what you were doing in the past but you're feeling like you don't have time to do that anymore that it's time for you to do what you need to for yourself and that's really a good decision to make because we do you are um, at a point where you just have to go in and reflect on the many things that you have been doing the many things that you have been working on and um, watching and seeing that it wasn't really bringing you any stability at the um that you that you found fulfilling or that could actually help you in the long run to complete the purpose that you were called here to do and so this new work that you're doing it is something that is actually where you're stepping into your power you're in your power at this time and you definitely have awakened to your calling and you definitely stepped out into your calling to do what it is that you need to do for god for goddess for the universe for yourself for your own fulfillment and that's really really good you're no longer um, worried about having people around who support you or not is like that you can, you could can care less at this time it's like you love these people but you don't care if they're there you're really um standing up for yourself you're really at a point where you're um not worried about um if anyone wants to come for you or try to attack you in your mind about the things that you have attack your opinions attack the decisions that you're making to do this thing that you're doing on your own this, this thing that i'm getting that you're doing is definitely going to be something that is going to surprise people they're not expecting the work that you're putting in to become abundant and prosperous is but i'm getting that it is they're going to be definitely surprised they're going to see a new you and be surprised that everything that you were working on actually worked out in your favor they're going to be really hurt and burdened by it there's someone who is going to come in and stop you and they're really going to be hurt that it didn't work out it may be a group of people um from different um size different um um places in your life it could be um relationship business as well as um you know religious people who are going to um try to create illusions to you and create um problems for you in order for you not to move forward but i'm getting that you're not going to allow that to happen um you are protected at this time so whatever um thing that you're working on the work that you're doing and putting in is going to be protected no one's going to be able to stop you and that is really going to hurt them but that's on them um for um doing the things that they're doing is wrong and the universe is definitely going to block them and going to cause them to have setbacks the setbacks that they want to see you have because they're creating so many obstacles for you they don't want to leave you alone and they know that what you're doing is going to help to um possibly um change the world the work the work that you're doing and in some type of way your contributions that you're putting out and putting forth right now is definitely going to be of service to a group a large group of people not just yourself and we have people who are bitter as hell out here who are you know sickened by this thought again we have out here Sagittarius Leo and Aries um so these can be someone people who are um at this time working with you um or these can be someone who's working against you they're really upset I'm getting that these are people who are working against you or this could be um you or you're um, going up against someone, you're in an um, energy of hating on someone at this time. You see them changing, you don't want them to change. And you just basically, um, you're for some reason, you or someone else is sad by the decisions that you're um, choosing to make, which is to step into your power and answer your calling and work really hard at being a better person and change. Um, you know the way you are going yeah we have the eight we have the ten of wands here you're walking away from a situation that is no longer serving you you're moving on into a different um walk of life you're moving on to um go on a different journey and you're um standing up for yourself something that you weren't willing to do you probably have been sitting in a um 
from situation for so long uh, where it got so comfortable, but you had to, you knew that you had to move out of that comfortability in order for you to have the things that were meant for you to have. You had to walk away from this situation that you were in in order for you to be more abundant. You knew that and you're doing what you need to do at this time. It may be uncomfortable, an uncomfortable journey, but it is going to be one that is worth taking. And I am definitely urged to tell you not to give up. Spirit is saying at this time that they're really proud of you. They're really proud of the work that you've been putting in. They're really proud of the efforts that you've been uh, putting in. They know that so many people have come against you. Many people have petitioned against you to stop you and hurt you and try to fool you um, into believing that this thing that you're doing is not the right thing for you to do. Um, they've been contacting you um, to let you know that it's foolish, that you're not really in your right mind, that you're um, at this time really um, not knowledgeable of the things that you're doing but you know what you're doing they're trying to pretend to be your friend in order for them to um get you to walk away from something but i'm getting that you're you're walking away anyway you know that these people are not your friends that they don't support you and that they won't they will never support this thing that you're doing and you're standing up for yourself you're ready to um fight to protect what you uh, have and i and i don't necessarily mean that in a physical way i just mean that mentally and emotionally you're standing up for yourself and you're no longer are going to be fooled by the things or the fake friendships or anything like that that um causes causes you to um get thrown off because people like to play on your emotions based off of you being a pisces we have out here um aquarius gemini and virgo then we have out here again the eight of cups so you definitely decided to embrace um, this journey, leave um, the past in the past um, and go on your journey alone. You know that there's not going to be people who support you at this time. Um, the family and friends who you thought would support you, your community, um, different people who you've worked with, you thought that they would support you, but they're not. Um, and you're okay with that. You're thinking um, about your situation in the light of I'm going to stay um, in this position as long as I need to. I'm going to go and do the work and work hard and keep my head down until I'm able to look up at the fruits of my labor and people are going to consistently keep contacting you to try to get you to turn away from this thing but do not give in to um, any of the tactics that they try to pull on you because you're going to be abundant. You have the king of pentacles out here. You're someone who's going to be secured by the situation, by um, the fruits that you're bearing at this time. They're going to bring you a lot of um, security. They're going to bring you a lot of happiness. And you're going to be really um, proud of yourself that you um, did this. Because at this time, you're in a position where you really don't have a lot. Or um, you, could, you know that you can have more. And so because we have the empress as well. You're going to have someone who's um, going to be helping you at this time. You're going to have someone who is going to um be sure to um help you along in your journey and who's going to help you to embrace um what you're going through thank you baby we have the five of pentacles you are no longer stuck anymore in this situation we have the five of pentacles in reverse um where this is a card talking about um basically um people wanted to see you in a messed up position or that you were coming out of a messed up position um where you were stuck where you were lacking and not having things and now you're walking into prosperity and abundance and and with this um king of pentacles here you're actually in your abundance at this time or you're um getting ready to get towards it after you're done coming out of um working on on this thing that you're um, putting the work into um, and um, building your foundation, the foundation and the roots that you're laying are going to bring you abundant abundance and prosperity because you chose to move away from a situation that was no longer serving you and was not helping you with your higher, higher um, good and your calling. You answered the calling because you did answer the call and God is going to be blessing you so much um, to your surprise. You're, you're not going to see this blessing that's coming, coming. And, um, I definitely see um, a new beginning coming. And if not a new beginning, um, um, which is definitely, this is a new beginning. I see a new beginning that you're working on. But I also see um, out of this um, work that you're doing, you're going to be getting a new relationship as well. Or you're going to be getting a new um 
you're going to be getting a new start or something. People are going to continue to contact you and let you know that this thing that you're doing is wrong. They don't believe in it, but you have to ignore those people because you're getting the go ahead from the universe. You're getting the go ahead from God alone to do this thing. And people are um, basically trying to stop your calling and going against God himself. Okay. Um, we have the seven of cups. You know what you have to do. You know the decision that you have to make, and you're going to make the right decision. You're not worried about it. They're going to continue to call your phone. They're going to continue to contact you, text you, whatever it may be to um, get you um, to leave it alone. They're going to continue to try to be a headache, but just ignore those phone calls. Um, someone wants to put up a fight with you in some type of way, um, but you're willing to fight for what is yours. You're willing to do what you need to do in order to protect what you have. Five of Pentacles. Um, um, five of Swords again. When we have the Queen of Cups. You're embracing this. You're a natural healer, as I'm saying. You're someone who um, are being gifted by the universe because you're someone who does a lot for people to help people um, in their path. And now you're at your point where it's time for you and people just don't want to see you doing that. Now is your time. And you can't allow people to turn you away from your path. You can't allow people to stop you from doing what is meant for you to do, okay? No matter how um how hard it is for you to go forward, no matter who this person is, be it an ex, um, be it a current partner, whoever it is, if they're not supporting your dreams and your goals at this time, it's time for you to walk away. If it's a boss that you're trying to present an idea to and they're not... um 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 happy about this idea you have to leave we have the seven of pentacles because you're growing something at this time you're building on something that is going to be abundant and you're going to be blessed by it you've manifested this and you did all of the work in order you're doing all of the work in order for it to grow into something beautiful so you just have to trust that it is going to work out we have pisces heavy out here we have capricorn i'm sorry we, um, capricorn must be involved because i'm saying that um we have um cancer and we have Scorp Scorpio. So a Capricorn could definitely be someone who's trying to block you from your situation. Um, again, we have you out here again, Pisces. Okay. We have you out here again, Scorpio, Cancer. So this definitely could be, um, the energy that you're in where you're just like um you you may be in your feelings about it or you just may um you may not be in your feelings about it you're just like calm about the situation you know what you have to do and you're willing to go um for it even though there's going to be people who try to stop you we have sagittarius leon aries out here um you may have people who's trying to stop you or who's passionate about ending you or ending this project that you're working on but and this project, this um, project that you're working on is going to help you and it is not going to be able to be stopped. And we have someone who wants to collaborate with you, who's trying to put up a fight with you because you're not willing to work with them at this time. Um, you're just, um, you know, um, in, into yourself and um, the work that you're putting in, the foundation um, that you're laying down in order for you to have the things that you need to have. We have the emperor card. We have the empress and the emperor out here. So we have, um, this is a um, twin flame situation um, that may come out of it. If you do end up working with someone, this person is going to be someone who you end up marrying. This is going to be someone who you'll end up being with. Um, it, um, it may start in a um, in a workplace and end up growing into a relationship, or maybe a workplace situation um, um, that grows into love. As I just was saying, it may not be something that you're expecting, but it definitely will be something that you'll be grateful for. And you both are abundant and fruitful and blessed by God. Um, so, someone's gonna contact you someone's thinking about reaching out to you and letting you know that they want to work with you pisces cancer scorpio i'm getting a really good energy here yep this is the last card that i'm gonna pull we have the high priestess here high priestess is you have a really strong intuition you're definitely like i was saying earlier you're a healer you're someone who blesses others they want to cut off my throat chakra they do not want me to say this message someone is really hating right now on you <laughs> 
they don't want you to have this abundance because they know that it's going to lead to you being blessed by um, an entire community. You're going to end up being a household name. You're going to be someone who everyone sees. And um, these people who are trying to block you, they're going to be forced to recognize you. Although they don't want to recognize this thing that you're doing right now because they don't fully understand it. They don't understand it really at all is what I'm getting. But it's going to turn out um, in your favor and work out in your favor. And you know what you're doing. You know what you were called to do. And you're answering that calling you've been showed many things in your dreams to get you prepared for you to walk into this call and because um you have your inspiration to others you're going to be an inspiration to people around you to your community um the thing that you're doing is not a, a path that many people choose to walk down and because you're choosing to walk down it and, and you're walking in it in boldness so many people um are going to be um, admiring your courageousness because they know that it is um such a difficult um journey to take but you're taking that journey no matter what people say about you no matter how people judge you no matter how many people try to attack you for this specific thing that you're doing you know that what you're doing is called for you to do and you're not gonna allow anyone to divert you from your path you're gonna continue to stay on it at all um at all costs, um, you're going to do what you need to because you know that you're being protected. You have so many people protecting you. I'm really definitely heavily getting Shango is protecting you at this time. Um, and he's in your energy at this time. Um, so continue to be an inspiration to others. Good morning, baby. Continue to love um to love on yourself and do the work that you need to do because the foundation that you're laying down is going to be blessed, okay? And so many people will be surprised by the success that you get from this, okay? Um, so that is what I have for your reading for today. Um, the um, signs that I called out today, um, please be sure to look them up in your natal charts. They could be anywhere in your chart. Um, you can look on um, Cafe Astrology. It is a free website in order for you to um, find out um, the sun sign moon signs and rising signs in your charts and where they are um there's different energies that we have in our charts um that makes up our personality and makes up our characteristics of who we are so be on the lookout of that um you're really balanced at this time and just stay there stay in that um stay in that energy okay do not let anyone discourage you all right you got this you have the support of the universe i'm here with you go ahead baby you have the support of the universe here to um, make sure that whatever it is that you're doing um, succeeds, okay? And they're not going to allow anyone to come in and hurt you or um, um, discourage you or stop you from um, and mislead you from your path. So just stay on it. Keep doing what you're doing. And you'll happy you'll be happy um that you did it or maybe at this time if you've already completed this journey um of starting and laying down the groundwork and you're starting to bear the fruits of your labor then you're really excited at this time for what's coming to pass um so congratulations to you i know that's not easy um starting up something different that you're not used to but and not knowing um the direction that it'll go in but um continue to stay on it because it is definitely going to be something that helps you and helps others and it's going to change a lot of people's lives for the betterment of them, whether they believe it or not. Um, so please like and subscribe to my channel if this um, video was something that resonated with you or if I'm a reader who you would like um, to hear more of and see more of. Please help this message to be um, put out there. Um, and remember that you do. Uh, don't um, be surprised that you do have someone who is coming um, to you at this time who will love to work um, with you. And this is going to be your partner in the end. They're going to be someone who's really smart, someone who's really wise and um, um, really knowledgeable in this field that you're getting into. So um, definitely welcome and embrace it. it. It is a time right now that I'm hearing um, the universe working with both of you at this time um, to be on the same paths in order for you to come together but in divine timing so don't rush it don't go out there looking for anybody and it's expecting that it is them um, you'll feel it and you'll know when it's right okay um so i love you all i hope that you have a great prosperous and fulfilling day on today thank you again for coming in and joining me i appreciate all of your energies and i hope that you have a great saturday no sunday i am so sorry <laughs> bye